Okay, if anybody's under the age of 13, you can't watch. Nobody can watch. No kids. No kids allowed. Don't swim. Okay, coffee break. Okay. Uh, you can tell that the energy drink I drank 10 minutes ago is starting to kick in. That's good. Um, all right. Wow, we're back. <laughs> Hope you guys had a nice break. Now we're jumping in the coffee break. <laughs> Okay, well, none of that. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to today's uh, whatever this is. Um, God, I hate when I, like, drink an energy drink. And it just doesn't, like, fully go through my system. So I've got this weird, like, brain space where, like, I feel energetic, but none of, like, the quick wit and the, the funny is coming to mind. And I'm stumbling, like, stumbling around in the dark. And it's not until, like, you know halfway through the stream that everything just kind of clicks and I, I hate that I hate that so much you know I hate that brain space you know that space in the brain where there's nothing there um, head empty and uh, full of uh, full of stream so we'll see how it goes uh, but welcome everybody now I saw you guys were kind of talking about uh, the lack of subs and the uh, inclusion of ads so, yeah, uh, from what, and this kind of caught me off guard, too. Uh, Ren hates being smart. Uh, I hate being me, period. So, you know, I guess that encapsulates that as well. Oh, see, now, now the, now the energy drink's kicking in. Now, like, words are coming out, and I'm starting to sound witty, you know, oh, witty and cool streamer. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, the, uh, for most people, you guys got gifted subs from, uh, stalling set, and those gifted subs ended. And that's something I didn't find out until five minutes ago myself. So, yeah, everybody's kind of back to normal. Uh, if you uh, if you were using emotes before, you got to unlock them with points. And everybody pretty much has to watch ads now. Uh, which I now have set up uh, for three minutes every hour. I know three-minute ads are insane. That's a lot of, like, ad time. Uh, but it really helps me out, helps the channel out. And, uh, I think three minutes per hour isn't too bad, considering you watch, like, a 20-minute show, and you get, like, 15 minutes of ads, so, you know. Um, I mean, if you want to use an ad blocker, totally cool. And if you'd like to sub, that also helps the channel out, but, uh, yeah, if anybody wants to use, like, an ad blocker, I'm not gonna get, like, mad. <laughs> not gonna be like, oh, you can't do that! I'm losing my money! Um, I'm not worried about it, so that's okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, welcome in, everybody, to Coffee Break. Uh, if you weren't here for the first couple streams, this is essentially a Wolfenstein 3D mod that adds new enemies, new, like, level sprites, new tile sets, and, uh, new weapons. And the last two streams, I've had a blast. I love this mod. It is so sad that it only has two chapters done. Because, uh, the weapon play in this is satis satisfying as hell. Like, I love this mod. Okay. How much money do you get from streams? Uh, I think the more important question is, pay to bury. Pay to bury. Forget Tricky's question. I'm gonna go to Cage's question. Pay to bury. Pay to bury. Okay. Uh, yeah, how much money do I get from streams? Uh, from subs, it's it depends on the type of sub. Like, Wraither, in the chat, probably went to sleep or moved on to greater pasture. But, uh, yeah, Wraither did a Tier 2 sub, which I think means $4 every month. Uh, but most subs are, like, $2. So right now, as of, like, this stream, I'm making $11 this month. And uh, I can't actually get that money until I hit $100, so... Twitch is kind of weird how they do that, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see, uh, we'll see if this new August, like, ad payout thing is, is, uh, more helpful or not. We'll see. Alright, well, we're just gonna jump in, but, uh, just know that, yeah, I love this mod. The creator is talented, and I'm hyped to be back. We took a break from coffee break, but the break is over. Let's go. Dude, this music is kind of low-key pretty cool. Oh, synth! 
You guys can't even hear the game, I just realized. I've been talking over nothing the whole time. Alrighty then. <laughs> I was like, whoa, guys, check out this music. Uh oh, they, they can't hear it. Good, good. You can't hear anything. Wow, so you guys have been missing out on the menu music too. Oh, what a load of crap. Okay, well, that's. that's why did I add Steam to the list? Oh no, I okay, I add the game. Okay, you should hear it now, yeah? Silent Stein 3D. Oh boy. Alright, well, uh, let's start a new game, because I want you guys to hear this music from the beginning. This is some good crap. Okay, that sucks. That means you've been hearing fan in my voice the whole time so far. Alright, here you go. Here you go. Oh, here comes the synth! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's good. I love how subtle that is. Oh, our favorite guys! Why do I like these guys so much? They dro- What the fuck? They drop the coolest weapon, I think, in the game. I don't know if I'll ever- I mean, this sets the bar pretty high, like, I don't know... ...if I'll be able to play another Wolfenstein 3D mod that tops this one. But, at the same time, this has really impressed me on... ...how much fun Wolfenstein 3D mods can be, so... Oh, now we're getting, like, Egyptian pyramid theme. Oh... I kinda like that, actually. <laughs> Usually I don't like alarm sounds in music or, or droning, but that's pretty good. Oh, hello there. Hello there, you things. What? Oh, no, I'm getting that gun. I'm getting that gun, yeah? Whoa! What the fuck is that? What the f There's mounted machine guns in this game? What the- How do they even program that? This is Wolfenstein- What the fuck? I didn't know mounted machine guns existed in this game. Uh, we... Why was your vid muted, Ren? Why was your vid muted? What? All right. This may seem like a small thing to you guys, but guys, this is Wolfenstein 3D, okay? This is as basic as an FPS can get. And they programmed machine gunners like I'm blown away. I'm blown away. That is such, like, a huge thing for an old game like this. But just after saying uh, this sets the bar high, this sets the bar to unreachable levels. Your stream was muted for no reason? Are, can you hear me? Can you even kill him? God, that's terrifying, but I love it. <laughs> I, lo I love it. Yes, you can. Oh, that is so cool. Can you hear me? Uh, drunk, I cannot hear you. You can hear him? C can you use it? No, I don't think so. No, no, you can't. But that is still so cool. That is still so freaking cool. Oh, what a way to start the stream. I want to make that the thumbnail, like, we barely got any further in the, in the, in the mod, in the level, but that's just so huge that just, that just has to be thumbnail material. It has to be. But anyway, now we got my favorite gun in the entire game, Satisfying Gun 3000. Oh, I love the, I love this gun so much. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? What was that? God, I love this gun so much. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice bolt action. Oh, it, nice is an understatement. Oh boy. Soon there's something in the level that makes machine gun... Machine gunners get stuck, which makes it so like they're stationary. But the thing is, there's no such thing as interactable entities. Like this tree right here. Like... If the machine gunner was just like a static map prop, then 
That would make sense. But yeah, there's no such thing as an object you can interact with. Especially an object that can deal damage to you. Like, that's... I don't know how they did that. That blows my mind. Legit, like, I do not know how they pulled that shit off. That's crazy. Oh, I can't push, like, the fence backwards. Okay, let's move on. No, no, none of that. Not only is, like, the gun satisfying, but the enemies are satisfying. Like, the perfect, like, alert sounds. Perfect loud firing sounds. Like, oh, just every aspect, man. Also, this is giving me some, like, Medal of Honor vibes right now. <laughs> Which, I've never actually played the original Medal of Honors. But I've seen footage of them, and this is what it would look like. Shit. Oh god, you can see I'm just getting in the motions. Oh, I'm getting in the rhythm right now. Oh, I'm untouchable. Until I'm not. <laughs> that would explain... Uh, Wolf 3D open source... Yes, so, yeah, that does help explain it, yeah. Oh, that poor guy, he didn't even see it coming. Oh, that's a trap. What is that? That's a new guy, that's a new guy. What was that? What was that? What was that, gray Nazi? I did not see that graying. Oh, I bit my tongue, shit, that's gonna hurt. Okay, grab the key. Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> Run. <laughs> so, we gotta figure out what these guys do. What was that? What was that? What was that? What? He held up. What is that? What? Is... What? What? They throw grenades! <gasps> they... <laughs> oh my god, I love this one! The episode... We thought episode one was, like, mind-blowing. Wait till episode two. Oh, you can't pick him up, though. That's sad. Oh, my God. This... I, I'm losing... I know I, I sound like I'm losing my mind, but the things they're pulling off in this game... I cannot believe it. Maybe for, like, the... You know, expert pro, like, wolf streamer, this is, like, a normal day at the office, but for me... For the first, like, wolf mod I've ever played, this is fucking blowing my ass. Okay, that guy we all know. That guy we all know and love. Not really. I hate him. Oh, that's bullshit. How are you gonna, how are you gonna dupe me this time? Wow, no duping at all. Okay, well, I'll take it. Coffee break. It was a human being, Ren. What do you mean? Nazis aren't human. What do you mean by this? Alright, yeah, let's grab it. Okay. Man. <laughs> grazie, grazie. <laughs> ah, yes, we're shooting all the grazies. <laughs> Alright. Ah, but my. Oh, I hate that so much. Thank God I don't do a lot of talking at work, or else my day would be suck ass today. Switch to my headset from using crap-ass speakers. Yeah? Oh, that's not- that's not my favorite gun. That's the- the inferior machine gun. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah, I knew there'd be some kind of something. Where is it? Oh! What's that? No, I missed. Not that time. Oh my god. Audio quality, 200. By the way, how is the, uh, the volume for you guys? 360 quickscoping! Should I try a quickscope? Why is it called Wolfenstein 3D when it's not 3D? You know what? He has a point. <laughs> he has a point! Alright. I'm getting way too careless. Like, I'm, I'm getting too used... Oh, what the fuck? I don't know where he is, though. Oh, that's not good. Is he in the bushes? 
Yes, yes he was. What the hell, Gorilla Warfare? We're in the bushes. What, really? It looks 3D. Not as advanced as Doom, but still 3D. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's not the end. Or is, yeah, no, I guess it is. Okay. Because there's three Ds. I don't know. What, 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 we know where one D is. We'll have to find the other two. Well, I guess we know where two Ds are. Okay. Uh, let's get some health, and then let's... Yeah, let's let's get the hell out of here. We, we, not bad. Not bad for a first level. If we can get at least half of the levels done before I have to go to work, then that's a success. That's not the end. What? That guy. Oh shit! Okay, I think funny rifle time's done. Oh god. The lever that moves the the nature. Oh no, what have we done? Oh, what the hell? Okay, I. I need some health. It's no longer funny. I need health. Where's, where's health? Damn it. I bet they open. Yep, they opened up doors back here too. Yep. Hey, uh, wh wh where was that funny uh, health room at again? You know, the funny. I'd like to get some of that funny, please. Oh, great. You live in a non-Catholic country so you don't have Corpus Christi holiday? What? John Wolfenstein goes on a quest to find 3Ds. Yeah, one of these days we'll find the 3D. One of these days. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, no, that's right. Those back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, yeah, when are they going to surprise me with enemies? Which there might actually be enemies back here now. No? Oh. Wait a minute, that's new. No, it's not. Okay. So, you see! <laughs> Man, this is too crazy for me. I need a coffee break. Yeah, when are we going to get to the coffee portion of this mod? That's what I want to know. When is, like, the false advertising going to stop? When are we going to learn? Oh, by the way, Cage, I wanted to bring something up. Speaking of advertising. Um... You said earlier in the chat that, like, you will never support companies or, or something like that. Um, I agree with you completely. Okay, when I see ads, usually, like, and I, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, ads do not work for me. Like, I think I'm part of, like, the, the demographic of, like, human beings who has never been enticed by an ad in their life. Like, maybe in the 90s, maybe as a kid, like, ads, like, got me excited. And I was like, oh, mom and dad, let's go get that. But I can't say as an adult now that there's ever been an ad that, like, I have to go out and get, like, the same day. I said I will never shill to ads. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so, usually, as an adult now, when I see ads... It kind of, like, makes me want to boycott them. Like, the other day I was watching Bionic, and I got a Butterfinger ad, and I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, I never want to buy a Butterfinger again. <laughs> like, I, ads are kind of having the reverse effect on me, where I see an ad and it pisses me off, and I just don't want to go support whatever they're peddling to me, you know? So, go figure, I guess. What the hell? Where, what? What? The plant shoot me? Wait a minute. It's not gonna happen to me, is it? What the fuck? It must be the plant. That's gotta be the plants. Oh. Oh, that's dirty. That is dirty. I didn't think enemies could squeeze in back there. Okay. So pretty much all ads. 
on screen ad overlays oh you mean like on like mobile where like the little banner pops up and it's like oh play the slot machines did the butterfinger ad have bart simpson i have no idea i heard i saw the ad oh no it was the PUBG. unlock buy five bars of butterfingers and unlock PUBG items i'm sorry that doubly doesn't apply to me you really lost me now Oh, nice. We got, uh, we got behind the fence. That's good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can I get some, like, ammo, guns, health? Ferris. The only company in recent years that actually made me want to get one of their products was Domino's Ferris Bueller Day Off Parodies because it was just cool. But could you say that's like nostalgia baiting though? Because I saw the ad for uh, the, you know, the diehard like commercial ad, the battery ad. I thought that was really cool because I'm like, oh, diehard, nice. But then I was like, they're totally nostalgia baiting me, you know? Where you put a PNG in your OBS as transparent ad picture and stays on screen at all times. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, not a big fan of that. Also, stair exit is really cool. You know, ads just aren't good anymore, you know? Go back and watch, like, 90s ads. Like, 80s, 90s. Okay, so here's how I look at it. So, 60s and 70s ads, most of the time, they're pretty honest, you know? Like, they're not trying to, like, add a bunch of, like, music and... You watch an ad from, like, the 70s, like a Fisher-Price ad or something, and it's just showing kids playing with the toys, saying, this is what imagination is. And the it's, it's, it's good, you know, it shows you the toys, it shows you the kids are having fun, and it's like, look, you want to play with our toys, use your imagination, and you'll unlock, you know, all kinds of fun. And yeah, that's true. I grew up with Fisher-Price. You look at, the, and then you go to the 80s. 80s is where ads kind of get funny, you know? They're in that weird phase of, like, being honest and being action-packed, you know? Like, or not action-packed, but they're a mid-ground between honest and, like, flashiness, you know? It's the 80s. Of course it's going to be like that. Then you get to the 90s. Yes, the 90s cheese. 90s ads are where things just kick it up to 11. You know, they're, they're advertising to, like, you know, the uh, Malcolm in the Middle generation of kids and adults and uh, 90s ads are awesome then you get to early 2000s and early 2000s ads are still crazy still funny uh there's a lot of really iconic like early 2000s ads so still good but then you get to like late 2000s to now and ads are just like boring they're annoying they're sterile they follow, a, an, each one follows an exact, like, design plan. You know, they're all the same. They're corporatized. They're trying to, uh, like, appeal to, like, certain groups of people, which make other groups of people feel left out. And they're just bland. Oh, modern ads suck. And what's up with this, like, cor I know the Emperor Lemon touched on this, but what's up with, the, like, this corporate art style of, like, people having, like, like weird body proportions? Like, ah, oh, yes, I'm going to relate to uh, a lady with tiny head and giant arms that could crush and kill everybody, you know? Like, fuck modern ads. Fuck that. Fuck modern ads. <laughs> um... Oh, Futurama theme. Nice. Oh, God. Where am I? Oh, we're in the mold sewer. If this is, like, called the sewer level, what is this level called? An adept arranging for mother. That sounds about right. It's just ads are too safe now, you know? Nobody wants to have fun and be creative and, and take chances. Nobody wants to make an ad that's really going to just be there, you know? 
that it, everything's got to be sterile. It's got to be safe. Oh, Rusty, that is cool. As a texture, like, hobbyist, that is awesome. And that, yeah, they nailed that. And we're already fucked anyway, so might as well open up every door in the, in the, uh, sewers. Most cancerous bu buzzword you may hear in today's ad, oh, cash back. Yeah, it's all about appealing to, like, people who either don't want to, like, work for, like, good money, or, you know, oh, I, I guess I can't say that, because there's cases where, you know, people are just in bad situations that they didn't put themselves in, but it's all about, you know, appealing to the people who, most of the time, it's appealing to the people who don't want to work and, and go for the gold, you know? No, I, I, this is something I don't usually talk about, but, yeah, it's just, modern ads suck ass. I mean, there's not much to talk about. I mean, that's... There's my thesis. Modern ads suck ass. Uh, what are my, like... My, my evidences? Um, go watch TV. What the fuck is this? Huh? What's this? How was your day, Ren? Ah, oh, just starting. Just starting. But it's Friday? Happy Friday, by the way, guys. And, um... Work should be a breeze. I have work. I have plenty of work to do. And, uh, I don't know. It's going good so far. And I'm, I'm streaming. I'm having fun with you guys. We got people who are actually watching my, my crappy stream. So, that's going good so far. How about you, man? How's your day starting off? What? Verboten! Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Remember the Bud commercial where the guy finds a hole in the wall and it turns out to be leading to someone's fridge full of beer? And then there's the moment where a woman opens the fridge, sees the guy's head po poking out, and both of them look at each other, and the woman is, like, confused. It's probably the first commercial I've ever watched that was unironically un well-made and funny. That I do remember that one. That was good. Like, let's... Guys, forget, like, talking about how shitty modern ads are. Let's go back to a time when ads are good, Okay. What are some, like, really funny commercials or advertisements that were actually good, that you can remember? Like, for me, I gotta go back to the classics. You know, what's up? You know, like, I gotta go back to the Bud commercial. Like, that was so good. That was good. Like, the Bud Light commercial. Awesome. Awesome. What's up? <laughs> that was good. It was stupid, but it was good. Okay. Sonic in the Progressive commercial? I don't remember that one. Was that- is that a more modern ad? Was that made, like, after the first Sonic movie came out? Honestly, don't watch many ads now. No. No, I tell people to use ad blocker. There's no reason to watch ads that aren't going to do anything for you. 90s Russian commercials? I got to imagine those got to be pretty trippy. You know, when I think Russia, I just think like crazy, zany. You know, call me, call me John Racist. But when I think Russia, I think like just, yeah, crazy, zany. Like dudes like drinking a beer with like bears. And, like, going swimming in, like, you know, frozen oceans and stuff, and, and lakes. So I would imagine that 90s Russian ads must have been crazy. Oh, early 2000? I'm already losing my voice, that's great. Hell, you guys know me, like I say. It'd really be nice if I could hit puberty again, and, and never have that happen. Um... Jackass, but Russian? That's awesome. That's how you make ads right there, yeah. God, that is so embarrassing. I, I don't I don't know why that still happens to me. Like, maybe there's some kind of disease where, like, after you hit puberty, you still have that happen. Fucking sucks. Maybe I got, like, Ren's disease. <laughs> only happens to me so I'll be the I'll be the founder of the disease there it is 
Oh, it's cool. The color of the uh, handle changes for up and down. Small detail, but I like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ren hasn't seen Japanese ads? I've seen a few. Have you guys ever seen, like, the GoldenEye, like, ja Japanese GoldenEye commercial? That's actually really good. Like, like every, everybody... This, this, I love when, when, you know, other countries kind of embrace that. But they make it unique in their own way. Like, that's always cool. You know, when, like, they embrace, like, Western culture but make it unique to them. I love that so much. That adds cool. Uh, do you remember any, and do you remember TV commercials that traumatized, oh, traumatized you as a kid? Yes, uh, I can't think of any, but yes, absolutely, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm sure of it, yeah. Um, when I think of one, I'll let you know, but, uh, yeah, no, there definitely adds that, that, that to me. Remember an ad for Pizza Hut in Russia where Gorbachev appeared in it? Why am I not surprised? Hold on, we're the bad guys. Acton Granade! Oh man, it's so cool. It's it's almost like Matrix mode. Hey, you know, it actually turns Wolfenstein 3D into like bullet hell. Opposing force. Truly an inspirational and amazing quote. I'm telling you, man. Imagine uh, pulls out the best quotes. Okay, come on. Oh yes, do we go in the nice, clean door, or the rusty, jank door? <laughs> Clearly we made the right choice. Where, where, where? You can't throw through this, can you? Can you hurt yourself? Oh, they can. Okay, they can. That's good information for our everyday life. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't think of any ads, but I know, I know there were some. I mean, I know there were some ads where they came on so often that I got so tired of, like, watching them. Oh, I saw him. I saw the green and it was too late. Damn. Alright, let's try this again. Trying to... Really? Man, the Ender variety is crazy. Yeah, I think original Wolf... I mean, Wolf and... original Wolfenstein had variety too, but it wasn't a crazy amount of enemies. Like, I could probably count it on two hands. I I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. So, two hands. So we had the Grunts, we had the... Uh, Schustoffel. We had the, like, Navy Nazis, Dogs, uh, Hitler Ghost, Mutants, that's six. I'm not counting bosses, by the way. Uh, am I miss- I'm missing some, I know I'm missing some. Am I? Wait, am I miss- are there only six enemies? Grunts, Schustoffel, Navy Nazis, Dogs. Mutants. Oh, wait, no, I'm missing one now. Oh, and Hitler Ghost. Wow, that is it. There's only six types. And here we have... Now let's... <laughs> okay, so let's see how many types we have in this. So we have uh, Grunts, Schustoffel, Navy Nazis, Grenade Throwers, Machine Gunners, Mobile Machine Gunners, Riflers, or riflemen. Dogs, we have run into dogs. Uh, I mean, that's that's already two more than the original game. And I don't even know if that's it. Like, there could I, there could be like a flamethrower guy. I know flamethrower weapons exist in some do, uh, Wolfenstein mods, so we could legitimately have a flamethrower guy. Uh, let's see. Is it bolt action? No, we've had uh, the bolt action, MG42. 
We have had a flamethrower at some point. Yeah. Remember there was this stupid commercial for Samsung's folding phone and it had one song. And at one point it pissed me off so much that I simply muted the TV every time the ad came up. Um, I'm curious, what year do you think that commercial was? Because music that pisses you off kind of sounds like modern day ads. Or very close to it, you know? There we go. So we good? Like, we got him? Now we're good. Okay. Just... <laughs> ah, yes. Cut off prevention. My favorite. Okay. But when did they come through? It didn't come through! When there was a new phone model that was folding screen? Okay, so that seems like a modern ad. Low 2012. Yep, that sounds like a modern ad. Annoying. And, um, not selling you on the product. There it is. Uh. Tell me they can't open up doors, right? Wait, we also- oh, we also had a bazooka, too. What? That was a- that was a door opening. Why? Why? Twitter uses when I say- when I say even though I'm a musician, I hate modern music. I don't get it. You lost me! Huh? Yeah, bullet hell, bullet hell, bullet hell, bullet hell, bullet hell, bullet hell. Now, Mythbusters Part 2. Can grenades go through other enemies, or will they hit the enemy? Ow, 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 oh! That's not good. Nope, I'm an idiot. Oh, they, they won't see me on the other side. Okay. This is tough, but I'm, I'm loving this. Like, technically, this is, like, the final, like, chapter of the mod, so... If it's tough, I'm down. Nope, that's... Yep, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Why BJ sounds like a demon when he dies? You know, that's a question we've all been asking ourselves for like 50 years now. Okay. But well, just just out of curiosity. Have I like turned anybody on to playing Wolfenstein 3D? Like is this a game where you're like, yeah, okay, I'll watch Ren play a crappy game or I'll wait, I'll, I'll watch like Boomer Ren play a Boomer game? Or has anybody seen my, like, stream to this? And they're like, I want to play Wolfenstein 3D, like, after the stream. Like, I've got a, a hankering for the... Wolfening. I don't know why, but I, the crosshair was on the magazine, and I thought it was a creeper face. I guess that makes me a modern YouTuber. Is that two or three? Okay, I think it's two. Okay, they're gonna come up behind us. Clever girl. Okay. They wouldn't like it when I call their Billy Ellish boring. I had a funny, like, a, a funny, like, nickname for her, and I forgot what it was. I think I left a comment on, like, a video on YouTube doing an interview with her and I said something Billy Eilish more like and I said something else oh this sucks I can't even get a good shot off hey now I'm playing Minecraft right now Billy Mays here 
I definitely don't want to play Wolf 3, but I have a new appreciation for it. Well, hey, that's, that's still something. I can get behind that. All right. What I can't get behind is this freaking hallway that kills me. I don't like that. I don't like hallways that kill me. I have a, I have an intense fear of hallways that kill me. And I'm out of health kits too. Did I pick up like the super item that I already picked that up? I think I did. No, I didn't. Okay, so I have a little bit of a backup. Okay, there's what, like two on each side? No, wait, yep. Okay, that door is shut though, okay. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, we're finally back to where we died the first time. Nice. Nice. Modern music is just boring. I don't fucking care about your relationship. Just give me a fucking song. I would say, like, all modern music is. Like, there's always those, like, outliers that try and do something new and at least be unique. But... Usually the music they play on, like, the radio... Yeah, most, most of that music's pretty crap. And unoriginal. Absolutely. There's only one? Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. It's back here. Okay. Didn't I, like, die in the secret? Or is this something else? Yep. Yep. Yep, there's... Uh, uh, yep. The rifleman got me. Oh, and that guy almost did, too. Yeah, get rid of him. Viscera cleanup. Cleaning up Nazis edition. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. This is making me noited as hell. I didn't get him. I didn't get him. Now, do you think this is so well programmed that enemies can die from their own grenades? Interesting thought. Oh, wow, we found, like, Hitler's bunker, apparently. Okay. I mean, if that's really what that is, they nailed the design aspect. I mean, that's pretty much what I'd imagine Hitler's bunker would look like. Flashy and in your face. With a hint of fascism. Okay, maybe more than a hint. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's... Where do we even go? We, we never gotta... Oh, we gotta go in the hallway of hell. Alright, let's do it. Um... Uh... Isn't it weird how Doom has been everywhere and everything, but OG Wolf 3D that is way simpler hasn't been on many devices? Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. What? Oh, I didn't mention this. Hold on. Uh, give me one sec. I've been... This whole stream, I've been uh, uh, capturing a YouTube channel that has 4,000 videos, and I'm seeing if it's possible if I can actually fully d back up and download 4,000 video plus channels. What the hell is this? Oh, this, this looks very pleasant. You know what? Forget what I said about the machine gunner. This is the thumbnail. Ah, yes. The pleasant room. Everybody's favorite room. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Wow, look at all this stuff over here. Wow. How the fuck... This is a one-way door. Is that what that means? Does, like, an up arrow mean it's a one-way door? If that's the case, that's cool. I love that. But I don't love this. Oh! Yes, it is. Okay, hold on, hold on. Calm down. Okay, we're in dire straits. Uh. Holy. Save? I can't. Can't do that. Oh! I recognize that sound! That's from, uh, Return of Castle Wolfenstein. 
It's the kick sound effect. Also, that was awesome. No hit scan, just grenades flying around the room. I love that. Okay. Not bad. Okay, that was awesome. Awesome room, awesome level design. That actually put the fear of God into me a little bit. Okay. Ren, are you saving that thing I sent in DMs until Freedom? Yes. Uh, next Freedom stream, remind me beforehand, and I will uh, open that wad up. So that's something I open up with Freedom, like I drag and drop it in and it'll replace just the music. Okay, let's go. And look, there's a the positive. Even though this is like the room of death, despair, and destruction, we have like 10 health kits. So, all right. I'll take it. But I didn't get anything. Where's the key? Free Doom? Yeah, Free Doom. When is the next Free Doom stream? Uh, I don't know. Whenever it sounds fun, I guess. Uh, I'd probably say like next, uh, maybe next Wednesday, next Tuesday, next Thursday. Because I had so much fun in that stream. I want to jump back in ASAP, for sure. I don't like this. Run! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah! Up to your old tricks again, aren't you? You Nazis! Oh, holy ambush, Batman. I bet it's not done. I bet there's an enemy that got stuck somewhere and is gonna surprise me. Surprise Nazi. I did grazie see that coming. Drag and drop and select freedom in the wad list? If yeah, okay. Perfect. Alright, yeah, we'll do that next time then. Fred Doom. Ah, uh, my favorite. Nah, his, his real name's John Doom. We all know the lore. Come on. Can't fool me, you tricksters. Alright. Yeah, so that's something I mentioned in the Discord that I don't think, like, anybody read. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yesterday I found out, and I just made a mouth noise. Hope that didn't show up on camera. Uh, yesterday I found out that I can uh, increase the memory of the downloader I use for YouTube videos. And uh, where I couldn't download, like, more than 300-plus video channels, uh, apparently I can now download, hopefully download, up to 4,000 videos on a channel. So, essentially, I can back up anything now. Anything. Except for YouTube movies. I, I think there's some kind of block that stops YouTube movies from being downloadable. But, uh... So yeah, over the next few weeks, uh, I'm going to be downloading gigabytes upon gigabytes upon hundreds of gigabytes of uh, uh, full channels. So that'll be cool. Fred Doom is the brother of John Doom. Yeah, he's the brother that nobody liked. You know, he was like, hi, I'm John Doom. I made uh, Doom. Alrighty then. And then you had Fred Doom was like, hi, I'm Fred Doom. I made cereal this morning. Ah, uh, you almost got us there, old Fred, old pal. You almost tricked us. A fucking jail. Oh my god, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by this, this, just the detailing and effort put into this mod. What is that? That's a machine gunner. In, in a jail cell? What, what is this, Alcatraz? Come on. Fuck off. Oh, okay. Well, this is extremely evil. Actually, BJ, then Commander Kane, then Doom Guy. There you go, yeah. The lore has been established. Okay, they can't see through more than one tile set. That's good. Oh, this is this is really scary. We're so far into the level two. We're so far in. Shit. Wait, you can't see me. 
What an idiot. Moron. Oh, no. All right, where's, like, the jail switch that opens every cell? Let's do it. Now, if we start seeing, like, mutants coming out of the cells and, like, prisoner-looking dudes with, like, knives, I I'm, just, I'm just gonna lose my shit. <laughs> oh, it's a maze. Okay. Nice, nice creative way to do a maze, by the way. I like that. Oh, the warden. Ah, yes. The warden was expecting us. And the warden also had a machine gun in his office. Okay. All right, boys. Here we go. What do we got? Tell me we have, like, prisoners. But then prisoners would be Americans, right? This is World War II. So why would they be attacking us? Unless they're, like, under, like, uh, brain control or something. Mind control. That would be an interesting thing, like, having mind control enemies. Prison break. BJ is the grandfather, Keen is the father, Doom Guy is the son. Yeah, there you go. Uh, maybe I backtrack, hold on. But no, I don't have a gold key, so... What the fuck? Yeah, nothing, nothing opened up. I don't, I don't get it. Nothing's unlocked? No. Brainwashed prisoners? That would be really cool and unique. I mean, they've already blown my mind so far. Like, why stop there? Okay, I did pull it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here's a long one, or <laughs> here's some more lore for you. One of the main protagonists of Doom Art 2 RPG is Descendant of BJ Blazkowicz from Wolf 3D, which once again proves that Doom and Wolf 3D are set in the same universe. That's a crazy thought. But that makes, that kind of makes sense though, you know? Mutants and demons kind of going hand in hand in the same universe. Oh, miss me with that shit. Miss me with that shit, come on. Who are you trying to fool here? Huh? What? Ah, uh, yes, the lever that kills you. Got it. Or I guess more so... The lever that releases enemies that kill you. Got it. <laughs> yeah, we, we... I need to get into the RPG games. Like, the only problem is you really can't find them anymore, can you? Like, I got Wolf 3D on my, like, iPod Touch 4th Gen, but... I don't know how I'm gonna capture the footage from that thing. I can do it on Android, but not so much on iOS. Not that I know of. Uh... What, what, uh, what, 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 is that, is that a gold key? I can't tell. Let's go check it out. No, I, I still can't get in there. Okay. Was there a door back here that I couldn't get into? Hmm. This really is just like Futurama song. Doom 2 RPG is ported to iPad, which is awesome because there's more chances of emulating the game on PC. Very true. Actually, I was catching a little bit of Do It All's, uh, uh, I think he was, like, jailbreaking his iPad. Um, I, I caught some of that live, and, uh, yeah, apparently you can capture footage from iOS devices. There's, like, a program you can download, so that's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty useful information, I think. Still don't know what I'm doing, though. No new enemies? Oh, what a life this guy lived. Selled with a machine gun. That's his life. We fed him through the bars. Solitary confinement, but you got a gun. Like, damn. Sadly, original Doom RPG was never ported to anything but J2Me and Brew. 
I could probably download the app on my, uh, my iPod using some kind of, like, free... Or, I, you, know, you know, again, do it all show that with that same program you can capture the uh, screen with, you can install third-party apps. So, I, I think there's a good chance of us playing, you know, Wolf 3D and Doom RPG. I really think there is a good chance. What? So these doors open, man? What the fuck? Oh, there's two of them. Yep, yep, yep! I knew it! Fucking knew it, man. So we're opening up cell doors. Okay, okay. So I was kind of right. There's a remake. Mo yes, you did post about that remake mod. Yeah. So somewhat playable? No, I don't want somewhat playable. I want the original experience. You know, that's that's that's. I don't settle for anything less than that. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hey, we got the key. Nice. But curiosity. Curiosity has me uh, has me curious. Hold on. And we're going here? Good. <laughs> Curiosity will not kill this cat. Not today. I don't want to waste that, though. Damn. Yeah, guess we're going to have to. Or we didn't have to at all. Great. Yep. No. Nice try. Nice try, friend. But I'm not really your friend. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. This information will be important later. All right, let me uh, let me get some full health going. I don't care about secrets. Doom, Doom, like I like showing secret levels in Doom because you know, regardless of how I play the game, I can just boot up console and load in. Wolfenstein 3D has no console. So I really can't, and there's no cheats either, so I really can't load in to uh, secret level. So in, in Wolf 3D, I don't really care. I'm good either way. It's well put together, but it's, it's not the same. You'd say, like, I should still try and, still try and uh, get that set up. Unlike my phone. Uh, what time is it, by the way? Now we're making good time. We could probably do one more level. Also, Ren, where's my pin on the back? My gold star saying, you saved the stream. Good job. I told you you saved the stream like three times. And I mentioned it in, in the description. Oh, now you're just asking for a bruising. Now you're just asking for a bruising. The hell was that music? All right, what level is this? A yoke of boxen. Nice. All right, yeah, this will be the last level for this morning. That last one was was uh, was long though. I I appreciate that. I also appreciate me surviving the whole thing. My man speaks beyond the grave. Just get into just getting into a rhythm with this gun is just the greatest thing since sliced bread. Like when you're putting shots down the line and just just picking your targets one by one. Oh, it's so awesome. No gold star, literally 1984. George Orwell rolling in his grave. Rolling in, in his wine. <laughs> I'm not even looking behind me. That's not good. Okay. God, I love that explosion sound. Classic. Enemies outside. Enemies outside. I gar Oh yeah, I can tell. They can. They can walk back there. All right, we're not gonna stick around. So it's atmosphere to the levels, especially that iconic alarm that you hear in the base. 
The mod is still a faithful remake of original mobile game, just adds more detail to levels, adds some ambient and other sounds from Doom 3, which I find tasteless, I would agree, but besides those changes, it's very accurate. But isn't, like, Doom RPG, like, tile-based? Like, because Wolfenstein 3D, you, like, tap an arrow and your guy moves one space. Tap the arrow right, he moves right. And enemies also kind of move. It's it's like a, you know, like a classic dungeon type game. Where if you move a space, enemies move a space. So how would that convert to GZ Doom? I don't know if it correlates too well. You, I mean, you'll have to be the judge of that. How did that not kill me? Oh. Run. Ow! I... Oh. Okay, well now we know what to expect. Yeah, original Doom RPG is a turn-based game. <laughs> it just stands there. Oh, boy. No, it goes to show. Even doing a very minor palette swap can still be impactful. God, man. Oh. I know it keeps, like raving about how much I love this gun. But I don't think I could rave enough. I don't think I could. I, I don't think enough praise this level's music slaps. It does. It does. It really does. Hey, that, if you can hear it, that means I set the sound up properly, so that's, that's a good sign. You know, my voice isn't overpowering the entire thing. Oh, no, what? Uh, no, no, there's pillars. Okay. This game got me real noited. I know the tricks. I know the treats. Okay, they can also throw more than one at a time. Got it. Good information. Again, good information to have. Knowledge. Here in my garage, with my grenade soldier. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. Apparently I didn't know all the tricks and the treats. Because this hallway screwed me over, and I should know by now that... Long hallway with, like, openings on left and right usually means an ambush. Usually. A weapon in the middle of a room surrounded by ammo and, and, and treasure. Also, usually an enemy. <laughs> uh, yes, original Doom RPG looked more like Wolf 3D. The J2Me version, at least. The Brew version had a couple of graphical improvements. Oh yeah, there is also Wolfenstein RPG, which is the same engine as Doom 2 RPG. It was actually made before. Yes, that one I have on my phone to this, or my iPod to this day. Screw your music. Oh my. Yeah, another another trick I didn't see coming, even though I should have. Enemies, if I see like groups of barrels, usually that means enemies are barricaded behind them. I mean, that's an iconic Doom staple, or a uh, wolf staple. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Calm down. Calm, okay. Oh uh, shit. How am I going to handle this? 
I got plenty of health items back there, so I don't need to worry too much just yet, I think. Watch out for enemies open doors. Not this time, I guess. Yeah, it's a one-way door. We're going to hold off on that. You know, it kind of ruins the port point of one-way door to have a body hold it open. That's just part of the treats of Wolf 3D. Oh my gosh, look at all those items. I totally forgot where I was. I just almost stepped into the line of fire. Oh! Okay, rule number 27 of Wolf 3D. Even if you think it's safe, it's not safe. It's never safe. What did I say? Okay, now it's safe. Rule number 28. When it's safe, it is safe. <laughs> uh, 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 huh? The door opening? Huh? Huh? Okay. Any more friends? Of the Nazi distinction? Ow! The fuck! Gosh, shit! The door closed on me! Damn it! Rule number 29! The doors always close on you! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, we did so good, fuck. What's my least favorite enemy from Wolf 3D? Navy Nazis. Actually, no. Mutants. Mutants suck. Like... Uh, mutants... Suck. Mutants suck. Okay, hold on. Let me check something real quick. Let me check this, um, thing. So I have now backed up, or I have now captured 1,792 videos and counting. I think we might make it to 4,000. We'll see. Yeah, like, the, the, the mutants, I don't like them as enemies in the game, but the mutants for me are iconic. Like, I... One of these days, I'm gonna go on, like, Etsy, and I'm gonna see if someone can make me, like, a clay statue of the mutant doing his, like, shooting gunslinging position. So that one day when I get, like, a webcam set up, I'll have, like, a Wolf 3D, like, mutant kind of standing in the background. I'd love that. But as far as, like, in-game goes, mutants suck. I mean, like, it, it's like I say, they're, they're gunslingers. Which, I don't know who thought of that, but that's kind of cool. But, but it's not. <laughs> um, Ren became a character from Zombieland? <laughs> Alright, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I didn't even think about that. So I play with... Huh? Excuse me. Lycanites mobs? Gotta say, it's tough between Gru and Geonak. You mean like Gru is in like Gru pickles? You ain't talking about Gru pickles, are you? Back in my day, Tommy, Tommy, back in my day, Tommy. Your old father, Stu Pickles! He's kind of a channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have, like, the old Jewish voice down. I'm sorry, I cannot do the impression that good. I'll practice. For those rare moments when someone makes a Gru Pickles reference. <laughs> oh, no, wait, Gru, Gru wasn't the, the grandfather. Gru, uh, Gru was Angelica's, uh, father. That's right. I think? I'm getting confused. Rule 27, don't shit in the Nazi castle. Yeah, when are we gonna get to the bathroom portion of this level? Like, that's what I wanna know. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mo Creatures. I bet you don't know about Mo Nightmare. I bet you don't know about more creeps and weirdos. I bet you don't know about that. Come on, I go way back. Come on. Wait, can someone confirm or deny, like, who Gru Pickles was? It's either the grandfather, or it's... It's... Uh, the... Uh, uh, Stu's brother. Like, can we just, like, take a minute and just, like, just... Applaud, like, how expansive the Rugrats universe is? It's pretty expansive. I bet you don't know who the Renegadus is, like, who, who, who is he? Yeah, I don't think Raythra has any idea who I am. He has no clue. He has no idea who I am. He don't know me. He don't know me. Okay, enemies cannot get damage from their own grenades. We learned that. I don't even remember the last time I watched a Rugrats episode. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one. That's not necessarily a show I go back to and watch. I mean, the only time I go back and watch it is in, like, YouTube poop form. You know, like, Stu, con er, Stu goes to Soviet Russia at 4 a.m. <laughs> Stu contemplates suicide at 4 a.m. <laughs> Here's your fucking pudding, Angelica. <laughs> I'd be tempted to play that on the stream. Oh, man. Oh, he was waiting for me. Unparalleled next gen 1990 AI. Maybe the Renegadist. God, I can't believe there was a point in time where I was Chrono. I almost don't feel like that's even me. Like, when I go back and, like, I, I, I don't go back and watch that stuff at all. But what time is it for you? Uh, 4.09 a.m. So I got maybe 20 minutes, and then I gotta stop. But yeah, it's hard to imagine that was me at one point. Like, I, I just can't imagine. It just goes so far back. Those were dark times. Okay, we're in, quote unquote, the room. Alright, I was ready for him that time. Maybe we will try this door out for the first time. See, uh, see where this takes us. Oh, this takes us to the pillar. Okay, okay. Okay. So we got a nice little, uh, exit point. Uh, hey, Ren, Ar Arlcraft multiplayer? Is that like Arlstein? Viewer beware. Go in for a scare. No goosebumps. Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Cartoon Network. It's all coming back to you. But when- but what about the times when it doesn't come back to you? Holy shit! Oh my god! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh god! The Minecraft mod pack? Hey, the goose do be bumping. You know what's kind of sad? If there's only one, like, Goosebumps book I ever read. And it was the most, like, morbid to me. Like, it was the one where, like, the girl wakes up in her bed and her room's on fire. And then she, like, wakes up later and everything's fine. That had a d dark ending to it. I mean, I'm sure you can probably spot it a mile away. You know, it's not, it's not a, uh, what's his name? It's not a, uh... 
What's the dude's name? The the with a twist, with a prick, fucking prick. Oh my god! I wasn't even looking at that guy. He said he said the funny word. He said what? What? <laughs> Hit are you on about? Okay, hold that thought. Let me kill these guys. There we go. Why am I using that? That ain't too smart. You know, I could snipe these guys from here. If they'll just move over. Okay, what killed us last time? Because we cleared this room. I remember that. And I've already forgotten how I died. Um, I know enemies come in. Yes. Okay. What What killed us last time? Anybody remember? Oh, sh that's right. The door closed on me. Now, not this time. I got a body in the way now, bitch. Bitch. Fuck you. Okay. Progress. Nice. Alright, I'm leaving. Bye. Oh, that's sad. This is so sad. Can we overdo a meme? What does that mean? Ow! Fuck, turn around! Why, why, why am I trying to run? That's gonna get me killed! Okay. Alright. We're in dire straits again. Thank God someone left m food on the ground. I was gonna say mood. Someone left mood all over the ground. Ah oh, yes, the funny meme that is now dead. Because everybody over... Overdid it, like always. Funny meme that everybody drives into the ground. I knew that was gonna be a secret, okay. But I bet there's enemies. Night. Alright. This is one of those just let them f line up. Oh, they all they all left. They were all done. Okay. Yeah. If if chat's gonna go like over overdone meme, then I'll just kinda let it do its thing. Wait till you guys come back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, I dropped the gravy. Thanksgiving's crazy. Living with the family. Family and the mamly. Everybody's living. Living and breathing Stanley. Stanley the Banley. John Stamos. I don't know. I don't know why that can <laughs> name popped into mind. Okay. Pen Reeple. You thought you could trick me? <laughs> Ren's rapping again! Ew, ew. Sound the alarm! <laughs> So, I had a dream a few weeks ago, or like last week, where I was in like a grade, like school classroom, Eminem was the teacher, and I was just dissing on him. Like, he was standing in front of like a projector, like he pulled down the projector screen, and he was trying to teach a lesson, and I kept like rapping crappy in the background, just dissing on him, like dunking on him. He had no idea how to respond. I'm not kidding, that's a real dream I had. And I still remember it to this day. Like, usually I forget a dream from, like, a day ago, but I still remember that dream. Like, I was just in the in the, in the the audience, watching him trying to teach a lesson. And I'm just like, you yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was so good. And then the dream turned into a nightmare. I wasn't a big fan of that.
Yeah, then it turned into a nightmare. Then it wasn't so fun and funny. You evil. Yeah, then it just got kind of creepy and scary, you know? Like, yeah. I don't dream about Left 4 Dead often. What do you mean? All right, let's get out of the level. That's it. We're done. Let's get out of there. I don't care if I left behind, like, 20 secrets. Some more like 80 secrets. <laughs> oh, Eminem has escaped from prison. He kind of does bear some resemblance. You had a nightmare where you pulled your lower jaw off? Ugh. 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 That sounds like a dream thing to do. Alright, do I want to risk doing one more level? What are we on? Inherited Bowel Levitation. Okay, we'll do one more level. One more. Just in case, like, there's ten levels instead of, like, nine or eight. That way we're at least halfway done. I think that's a good s stopping point. Oh, glass! That's kind of cool. Being Lincoln in the back of the head. That's also pretty cool. Or that be Kennedy. That'd be one of them. Stolen jokes, I know. I do like to steal me some jokes. I'm moving too fast for these guys. Okay. I didn't save, 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 I didn't save. Uh, quick save. Oh, I did save. Oh, never mind that. Whoop, whoop. You know, that's kind of what the dream turned into. So, we went from being inside of, like, the classroom to being, like, at this outside, like, pool party. And there were, like, lights going around, and it was full of people, and Eminem was, like, rapping or something. So, for some reason, Eminem was up on, like, this billboard. Like, how... Can I even describe the layout to you guys? Like, how... Okay, yeah, I was playing, like, crap that whole round. So, I can't explain the layout, but basically we were outside in, like, this, like, concrete courtyard. Uh... There was a, a big pool, and there's, like, an upstairs, like, upper area. And there's a billboard on the upper wall of the upper area. And Eminem was up there. And I think I, like, shot, like, liquefied marshmallow out of, like, a cannon. And I, I soaked him in the marshmallow, and then he, like, fell off the billboard. And it was still a good dream. It was still funny, and everybody was, like, laughing and partying, and music was playing. But then, all of a sudden, I turned around and looked off into the distance, and on top of a skyscraper, this, like, dinosaur-looking thing started running down the side of the skyscraper. And then some people started screaming, but it still wasn't a nightmare. It was still kind of okay, you know? Um, but then, all of a sudden, the dinosaur thing, like, teleported over to the pool party area, and started, like, making these, like, creepy sounds and started terrifying everybody. And so my first thought was to, like, run. So I ran, like, under the billboard there was a door that led into, like, a, a basement, like, stairwell. I started going down the basement stairwell, and of course the creature followed me through the- And I was like, oh, he, he'll never fit through the door. He fit through the door. And it went from, like, 1 to 10 nightmare in a second, okay? When I started running down the stairs, it wasn't even a nightmare yet. It became a nightmare when once he fit through the doorway, this loud, like, fly sound started playing. And that was it. Like, having this giant, bloody, melting, creepy dinosaur thing coming right at my face as, like, this loud, intense, like, fly sound was playing. Like, flies buzzing around. And it got louder and louder until I woke up. At that point, 
that was a nightmare. Like, it was so creepy. Like, just the thought of, like, this thing, this thing silently flying into my face as these fly sounds are playing. It, it was just not a good combination. Creepy dream, man. Creepy. Like, the ending. But it started off so funny, like I was dissing on Eminem, you know, I was making fun of him in class. It's awesome. Oh, come on, there's, you, you're not telling me there's no enemies in this hallway, are you? You're not telling me that, you can't be. Oh, come on, ambush. I hate when they're waiting for you. I mean, it makes sense. They can hear you opening up doors and being on your merry way, but come on. Huh? Wait, I'm trapped. What? Wait a minute. Oh! Okay. No! Oh, oh. Man! Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed a lot of chat. I'm sorry. By the way, you describing Eminem being a lecturer in a schoolroom dream unintentionally made me think of the episode of the Homer Sim or the Simpsons. Oh yeah, where he drops his papers and Homer starts laughing. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Uh Another number I had was chess, but with skulls, don't ask me why, but it's terrifying. Yeah, dreams have a way of taking something mundane and not creepy, and making it creepy as all hell. Oh, I escaped. Good. Oh, hey, back to the uh, beginning. That's, that's kind of cool. I like that. Can I have some health? Maybe. Now there's an additional knuckle joint added to my tentacle thing. Uh, I have no idea what that means. I like the small glimpses of the outside world and levels of this mod. Something that, yes, yes, absolutely. I was going to say the same thing at some point. But yeah, I like that a lot. Well, I guess the story is that you're going back into Castle Wolfenstein. So it makes sense it's not as like dreary and depressing as it was the first time. There's another one, I know it. Yep. God, I love this gun. And I won't stop saying it! Okay, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, that hurt, that hurt. Calm down. Actually, don't come down. Fire, get, get crazy, get stupid. Okay, we're good. Holy friggin' crap. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's got the right amount of crazy. Okay, let's get some help. Yeah. Yeah? No? Shit. I'll take the ammo. Oh, that's right. Door! Oh. I must sound like I'm on crack right now. So the second name of this mod could have been Return, Return, Return to Castle. It could have been just been called the Satisfying Gun Mod. And that would have been enough. Okay. Let's not have any surprises now. Yes. Where'd that guy come from? I assume I opened up a door somewhere? Unguarded food room? Really? Come on. Now you're just playing around. Oh, no. They're not playing around. Wow. I'll take it. Okay. 
The reaction sound is super crusty, and that's the best part. It really is. It really is. It, it, it's satisfying, but it also fits with the game. Am I uh, opening up doors back here, maybe? Huh? What's this? Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, okay. So I haven't found a key yet. That kind of scares me. It means there's some room somewhere I haven't explored, and it's going to probably screw me over knowing this game. Or did I miss something? No, I pulled that lever. That must have opened a door somewhere. So let's let's keep looking. Please note that eating a meal restores a shot out eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's just that's just biology 101. Um, don't tell me it's behind the secret. I don't want to hear that. But no, but enemies came from this area, so. They must have, like, exfilled from... You know, let's just go this way. We've already been this way, but let's do it again. Yeah, there's a lot of doors back here I think we missed. Ah, oh, yes, like the door... What was that? That showed up on, on, on camera, right? Hello? Is this like... It's like the CIA listening in on my game audio? With all that blood in the skull right there, that sound makes... That, that sound is so much more creepy. I don't want... Damn it. Want that sound? It sounded like it was saying syncrate. Like uh, you know, like those old uh, those old um, uh, like plane sounds, where it's like whoo whoop, pull up. Sync rate. Which, by the way, what? There, 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 there really is a flamethrower in this game! There really is a flamethrower! I was just kidding about that! Oh my god! They really actually programmed the flamethrower guy! What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I didn't think they were gonna do that! Okay, next level I'm gonna save and we're gonna- I hope he's there. I wanna see, like, what kind of damage that does. We might found out, find out early, I don't know. What are we up? What are we up to like eight enemy types now? Seven, eight, nine? Damn. Okay, hold that thought. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's enemies all over the place. As soon as I pick up that key, it's fucking done. Not necessarily. I think I have a good rat. Uh, I have a good rat. I have a, I have a good strat here. Kind of using these pillars for cover. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, never mind. Not, not horrible. Okay. Why the fuck is this mod so sick? Just too much effort went into this. Is there such thing as like too much effort? Cause I don't know, man. Putting a lot of effort into this mod. <laughs> yeah, it's a gold key, which... Thank you, by the way, mod creator, for showing you which doors are which. Not a lot of mods do that, so I appreciate it. Oh, yep, that's a machine gunner. has to be. Oh, I see him. Oh, it's out the corner of my eye. I can see him.
I don't like this. I do, but I don't. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, I don't think so. Not today. Sorry. Okay, we got the gold key. Pull out the machine gun. Why am I frozen? Pull out the machine gun. I could use... I could use the flamethrower. Oh, I don't like this. this is... Nope, we're good. Awesome. Awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, fish in a barrel. I love it. Holy crap. And they're nice to give you a little bit of health. Nice guys. Alright, that's definitely not it. It can't be. It do be like that. No, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, they tricked us. I don't think you can break this, can you? Ah, oh, yes. The knife that is useless in a game like this. Nope. It's a trick. Okay. Hey, you fooled me. Congrats. Ah, uh, that Shoot. Where'd we... No, wasn't there a gold door back here? Or something? No. Damn. Uh, how about this way? You know, one thing I haven't mentioned that I do want to touch on, I don't think I've pulled up my mini-map once, like, this entire series. Maybe, like, once or twice, but not in a serious way, I think. Uh, this is Wolfenstein 3D. The fact that the level design is good enough to where... I don't have to rely on a mini-map to get me through a maze is, uh, th that's honestly, like, god-tier level design. Like, it is very hard not to make this game like a maze. So, kudos to the dev for actually doing good level design. Ren pulled his mini-me? What does that mean? Huh? Halt! What is happening? Where? I, I mean, where Where do they want me to? I mean, did I miss something? Hold on, did I miss something? A switch I didn't pull or, or something? Oh, wait a minute. They're not gonna... Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. Why does I say that? Now I can't find out where to go. Um... Any ideas? Anybody, uh... I am all out of ideas. Let's not find a secret, because that would be bad level design. And I'd hate to eat my words. Really now? Nothing? You didn't check the side halls where the... Horde came from? What horde? Side halls. Um, in relation to where I'm at right now, in the glass hallway. Oh, uh, where, where, where do you mean? Because you're probably right. Oh, here? Maybe, maybe. Let's check it out. Oh, you're right. I think this is what you were talking about. 
No, this is empty. No, this is where I got the gold key. Where you mowed down with machine gun? Oh, did I really miss it? That's true, I didn't check all the side holes. Oh, pff, wow. Good catch, man. Good catch. That probably opened up my escape door. And my escape friend. Okay. Who is also not really my friend. Okay. Nice. Good, good, good. Honestly, man, that was, that was a good catch. Did you see the lever or did you just, uh, did you guess that? Why does it seem like a boss? Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna play this one seriously. But I do want to see if this is a boss, and for whatever reason. Oh, they, they actually gave me the chain gun. Wait a minute, is the, does the chain gun... Hold on, does the chain gun have to, like, spin up? Yes, it does! Oh, that, that feels so satisfying. That feels so satisfying. Okay, original Wolfenstein, the chain gun just fires as soon as you click. Having it, like, spin up to shoot is awesome. And it makes the MG42 actually worth using. Is that a boss, or is that a regular enemy type? Or is that, like, Bazooka Soldiers, which I also said might show up, and they did, I think. What was that? Oh, grenades. Okay, I guess we will play this one. Kind of sounds French a little bit. Oh! -ho! <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> okay, now we gotta get creative. Let's do it. Let's use the bazooka for once. Oh, crap, one hit. Okay. Yeah, that's our bazooka. But why are they so, like, big? Like, they look like boss enemies. Okay, well, uh, that's fine. This mod is so cool. It is really cool, man. I can't get over that. Alright, well, we gotta, uh, find the key, I guess. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, joy, oh, joy. Just hold it down and shoot. There's enough enemies there to basically kill me. Like, their uh, attacks alone don't do much, but in groups, that's like two seconds and I'm dead. Thank God they're so slow. Is this a secret level or, or what? This, this, I know this isn't the end game. Oh, watch out, watch out, Bazooka. John Bazooka at it again. Take the flamethrower. Maybe not good to get close to a wall like that. This, this mod went from like 10 to like 50 in quality. Like, the last chapter had some quality, but this... Oh my god. Maybe that's why it's taken so long to finish the mod. Because he's making sure chapter 3 is just mind-blowing. And I appreciate him for that. What?
Wait a minute. Check everything. Okay, we're good. I guess we are doing this level tonight. All right, that's cool. I'm down. Uh, we're missing a switch, though. I'm not so worried about these guys, but I might regret that. Oh, no, it's bullet hell. Yeah, no, 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 no. Now I am worried. Okay, you know, you, you convinced me. It's okay. You have convinced me the error of my ways. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so awesome. Even if I die, this is awesome. How to make Wolfenstein 3D like the coolest shit since sliced bread. This mod. Okay. I think we got them all. No, we didn't. Oh my god. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh my lord. What the hell, man? Wow! Okay, now what? Now what? Like we got the grand high boss coming up. But I've already pulled the levers, yeah? <laughs> wow! Nice job, guy. Okay. Um. Now what? Even the music is, like, waiting to kick in. Uh, we go back. Thank you for the ammo. I must have missed something. I wish the music had context, like, moments. Kind of like Valve game or Left 4 Dead where it's like, it waits until something happens to, to... Oh, here we go. Nope, run. We're in too deep to die now. Only three? Only three, okay. No, silver door. Oh boy. Oh! The, the brother and the sister! Oh, uh, Hans and Greta. Oh, that is so cool. Also, yeah, I just realized the charge up is based on their attack from the original game. I love that. Oh, she's, she's sneaking up on me. I know she is. Oh, boy. I need more ammo. Might have to go flamethrower. Where, where is she? That's scaring the hell out of me. Okay, we're not using that. That takes way too much screen space. Uh, health. No, I need bazooka. There we go. I need bazooka! Yes! Got him! Wait a minute, where's, where's she at? Alright. We're gonna fight fire with fire, let's do it. Where is she? Oh, of, of course. Uh, of course. I wish you could right-click to hold hold fire. You know, like Team Fortress 2 style. Okay. Oh, okay, there she is. Good, she's not hit-scan. She ain't dead. She is far from dead. Good, okay. I don't know if the chain gun does more damage. Ah, yes, let me damage myself. Good plan. Got her. 
Got the key. Oh, if Hitler comes out, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose my shit. If Hitler comes out, I'm going to be fucking done. But I expect it. Okay. Nice try, I guess. Nice. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, man. Okay, now I really do need to end the stream. For sure. Okay. So I... Oh, there's an enemy, like, right there. Is he gonna shoot me? <laughs> Wait. No. What? Okay, I didn't do it that time. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done. I do have to end it here. I have to end it. I know I have to cut it abruptly, but uh, I gotta get ready for work. Like, I, I, I did a little too much stream. A little too much. Um. Holy crap, though. <laughs> like, wow. Nice mod. Nice mod. All right, so we're on level six, so we have about, I think only like four levels to go, so uh, the next time we play, we will definitely finish it, but, um, oh, well, TF2 may be F tier, coffee break, I'm going to put that up in S tier, I'm going to put that up in perfect status, like, coffee break is the quintessential perfect mod. Alright, nice fucking mod. It's a good mod. It's a good mod. I like this mod. Okay. Instead of drawing out the outro and making this this long, big ordeal, uh, I'm... What? Oh, Russian! What's up? Oh, I actually did not expect you to, to catch one of my streams this late. Well, thanks for the follow. Thank you. Yeah, um, I know I've said on your streams a couple times that, you know, I, uh, I liked Coffee Break, but... That was before I played Chapter 2. Chapter 2 has blown my mind. Holy crap. Oh, man. Yeah. Coffee Break's a pretty... That sets the bar pretty high. Like, I, I don't... I'm kind of afraid this mod is too good. And that uh, any other mod I play might... <laughs> might not be as, as, as high par as this. Um, but... Uh, Awesome mod. Awesome mod. Uh, glad you can. I don't know how much you saw. Glad you could make it, though. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sinner. I, I play with a mouse. I know. I know. I know. Just bad news bears. But, you know. Gotta, I gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. But, uh, yeah, instead of drawing this out, I'm gonna go ahead and go get ready for work. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, hopping in, checking it out. Coffee Break is a fine mod. Oh, I could not agree more. Coffee Break is... Coffee break is insane, uh, and I'm very excited to see how it goes. Um, hey, oh, hey, mouse keyboard. I, I was trying to say, like, hey, megabytes, kilobytes is your thing. I was like, ah, maybe gigabyte, maybe gigabyte. Terabyte? Possibly. Um, but uh, that is it. So uh, I will uh, catch you guys around. Happy Friday to you. I'm going to go get this uh, Friday shift done, and this weekend, I want to do some Left 4 Dead. I want to do some more Half-Life Source uh, permadeath runs, and I think we're going to be uh, I think we're gonna be having a treat this weekend. So, uh, with that said, you guys take care, stay safe, see you next time, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Okay, that's it. That's all I had to say. Goodbye. <laughs>
I like the bolt-action rifle, okay? That's all I had to say. <laughs>